something. Why'd you decide to make them out of meadow sweet? Why the smell, of course. I I've seen part of this episode. My mom made me shut this episode off. What's going on, honey? Well, you're just some nice boys asking about my reason. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're enjoying my supernatural content, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next to it because I'll alert you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because you can find links to the supernatural playlist. You can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me some support at there as well. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing everything that I've just listed, this lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content, therefore they'll push it out more. So the shout out for this video goes to Misty Dawn. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last video. Much, much appreciated. So guys, if I look tired in this video, it's because I'm not recording on my normal recording day. I've just come from work, but I realized I need to put out some content, especially the TV content. So, we are here. So, just add a little disclaimer there, and I'm just gonna get a quick bite as well in between the reaction. But just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm a wreck. So, last episode we had the end of Gordon. Um, I thought it was a really good way to. Um, and a character that who we were introduced to um, you he was a vampire hunter and he died a vampire so even though that trope has been done a while I think they executed it well um, again I said my only um, thing was Cobrick if you know very well you're gonna kill him off he could have had a bigger role but hey at the end of the day we are following Sam and Dean so and as you guys pointed out it's very fitting that it was Sam be the one to get rid um, to kill Gordon and Dean came to a realization I think in, in a way he has accepted that his death almost because Sam brought him yes you're afraid P don't act like you're not afraid so stop trying to be the daredevil that he was he was going to be and that I feel like that's Dean's um, What's the word I'm looking for? That is Dean's, not issue, but what he always goes into when he's scared, he or, or he's hurt, he will go into a nonchalant dead that was su almost suicidal way because he did it when he was brought back to life. And now he's doing it because he's about to lose his life in a couple months. But he realized that he had to be a big brother and it ended with him teaching Sam how to take care of baby which is, I feel, a step in their relationship, but we'll see. So, I don't know where we'll go now that we we have one adversary down, which was Garden, um, where this will go into. So, we're going into episode uh, 8 of season 3, and it's called A Very Supernatural Christmas. Okay, I didn't think Supernatural would be one of those shows that does Christmas shows, but hey, then again, it's a 2000 show, so that makes sense that it will kind of give you a Christmas. Did it actually play like on the Christmas? I know before there were shows then play on the actual Christmas, but they would do Christmas shows. That would be so screwed up if they did it on a Christmas. Not the 25th, but maybe uh, like the week before. That would be funny as hell. But with that being said, let's jump into this. Christmas. A year ago. Did you bring me any presents? So why would I want to do that? Because it's Christmas. Oh. The lies we see, we see kids. I 
I swear that came from my flat. I nearly got. Now, what kind of monster coming for poor Santa? So, why are you going there? Damn. They're funny as hell for this episode. When my daughter and I were in our beds, Mike was downstairs decorating the tree. I heard a thump on the roof, and then I, I heard Mike scream. He was just gone. The doors were locked. There was no forced entry. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for letting me have a look around, Mrs. Walsh. I think we uh, got just about everything we need. We're all set. We'll be in touch. The, the police said my husband might have been kidnapped. Could be. But then why haven't the kidnappers called or, or, or demanded a ransom? We're very sorry. About anything? <sighs> Stockings, mistletoe, this, the tooth. Yeah. Where was this? In the chimney. All right, so if Dad went up the chimney, we need to find out what dragged him up there. I have no clue what kind of animal, I mean, creature this will be. So, is that right? Is it the serial killing chimney sweep? Yup. It's, uh, it's actually Dick Van Dyke. Huh? Who? Maybe I heard a name. A... Oh, okay. Well, it turns out that Walsh is the second guy in town grabbed out of his house this month. Oh, yeah? Actually, I have an idea. Yeah? Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna sound crazy. Mm-hmm. You possibly say it sounds crazy to me. Um, evil Santa. What? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just saying that there's some version of the anti claws in every culture. You got Belsnickel, Krampus, Black Peter, whatever you want to call it. There's all sorts of lore. Back in the day, Santa's brother went rogue. And now yeah. This time, but instead of okay, I've present, never he's heard of this. Wicked. By hauling their ass up chimneys? <laughs> For starters, Santa doesn't have a brother. There is no Santa. Yeah, I know. You're the one who told me that in the first place, remember? Wow. I never believe in Santa. Yeah, you know what? I could be wrong. Did a little digging. Turns out both victims visited the same place before they got snatched. Where? Strip club. Oh. I'm, I'm just being messy. Don't worry about it. It does kind of lend credence to the theory, don't it? Yeah, but anti cause. Hey, speaking of, we should have one this year. Have one what? For Christmas. <laughs> no thanks. No, we'll get a tree, a little Boston market, just like when we were little. Dean, those weren't exactly hallmark memories for me. And Come on, Sam. No. Just. Now, all right, Grinch. I'm impressed. Didn't know what the Grinch was. I am actually impressed. <laughs> 1991. I guess this is Dean and Samson. What is that? Yep. Is it for Dad? Give it to me. Okay, I know that actor already played Young Dean. Is this the same actor for Young Sam, or this? Cause you look different. He'll be here. Christmas. He knows. And he'll be here. Where is he anyway? On business. What kind of business? You know that. Sell stuff. What are they testing me for? <laughs> I quit asking. Is Dad a spy? Mm hmm. I'm James Bond. Why do we move around so much? Everywhere we go, they get sick of your face. I'm old enough, Dean. You can tell me the truth. I don't want to know the truth. Is that why we never talk about mom? Shut up! Don't you ever talk about mom, ever! Wait, where are you going? Out! You learned a lesson last time? You left Sammy alone? It's funny how Dean like seems to always don't ever remember their, their childhood. Snow. The way it actually was. Uh, lore says that the anti claws will walk with a limp and smell like sweets. Great, so we're looking for a pimp Santa. Why the sweets? Think about it, Dean. If you smell like candy, the kids will come closer, you know? So, Ronnie, come sit on Santa's knee. Ah, there you go. You've been a good boy this year. Santa's got a special gift for you. <laughs> what are you touching that child like that? Maybe we do. Welcome to Santa's court. Can I escort your child to Santa? 
No. no. Uh, but actually, my brother here, it's been a lifelong dream of his. He always set the sab up. Sorry. Just kidding. We only came here to watch. That sounds worse. Ew. Uh, I didn't mean that we came here to... Thanks a lot, Dane. Yeah. Thanks for that. He does all, though. You smell like sweets? Are you seeing this? A lot of people walk with limbs, right? Tell me you didn't smell it. That was candy, man. That was a ripple. I think. Had to be. What time is it? Same as the last time you asked. So, seven eight. <laughs> wow. Hey, Sam. Oh, lot. He gonna go memory lane now. Why are you the boy that hates oh. Christmas? Yeah, I admit it, you know, we had a few bumpy holidays when we were kids. Bumpy? That was then. We'll do it right this year. Have Christmas, knock yourself out. You just don't involve me. What's up with saying nicotine? Um. What? Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, Mr. Gung Ho Christmas might have to blow away Santa. That was funny. How are you doing here? I'm... <clears throat> Silent night. Yeah. Holy night. <laughs> wow. That's going to be landing hard on this roof, boy. Santa, you're early. Okay, then attack the child. You see, I can't have a child. You tell me you scream to alert me? Going after the man. What a man do he? These, these, these human beings that are being shocked. Described the attack. Santa took Daddy up the chimney. That's what he says. Yes. Oh, so you? she only I got hit. I thought he he snapped her head. All of a sudden, Al was being dragged out of bed, screaming. I'm sorry. I know this is hard. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Caldwell, where, where did you get that wreath above the fireplace? Huh? Reeds, huh? Sure didn't want to ask for better shoes. I saw some nice handbags in the foyer. Did the other places you have the same reed? Before, Dean. Okay. Where? The Walsh's. Yesterday. I know. I was just testing you. So unobserved for someone in this kind of profession. Yeah. All right. Uh, keep looking, would you? Thanks, Bobby. I haven't seen Bobby in a hot minute. We're not dealing with the anti claws. What Bobby said? Uh, that we're morons. <laughs> He also said that it was probably meadow sweet in those reeds. Wow. It's amazing. It's pretty rare, and it's probably the most powerful plant in pagan lore. Pagan lore. Uh oh. Yeah. See, they'd use meadow sweet for human sacrifices. It was kind of like a chum for their gods. Gods were drawn to it, and they'd stop by and snack on whatever was nearest human. Uh oh. Why would somebody be using that for Christmas wreaths? They might not know. That's as crazy as it sounds, Dean. I mean, pretty much every Christmas tradition is pagan. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Yeah, but no, not. Jesus' birthday was probably in the fall. It's actually the winter solstice festival that was co-opted by the church and renamed Christmas. But I mean, the Yule log, the tree, even Santa's red suit, that's all remnants of pagan worship. How do you know that? They tell me next, Easter Bunny's Jewish? So you think we're dealing with a pagan god? Yeah, probably Hold Makar, god of the winter solstice. 
When you sacrifice to hold in the car, I guess what he gives you in return? Lap dances, hopefully. Mild weather. Mild no, weather. No snow in the middle of December in the middle of Michigan. For instance, <sighs> we gotta figure out where they're selling those reeds. You think they're selling them on purpose? Feeding the victims to this thing? <sighs> Help you, boys? I uh, hope so. Uh, we were playing Jenga over at the Walsh's the other night, and... Not Jenga. Well, he hasn't shut up since about this Christmas tree that I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. I sell a lot of wreaths, guy. Right, right, but, but you see, this one would have been uh, really special. It had, um, it had uh, green leaves, um, white buds on it. It might have been made of uh, meadow sweet. Well, aren't you a fussy? <laughs> Anyway, I know the one you're talking about. It's hard to walk into these things of those that are. Seems like this metal switch stuff's pretty rare and expensive. Why make reads out of it? Beats me. I didn't make them. Who did? Madge Carrigan, a local lady. It was so special, she gave them to me for free. She didn't charge you. Nope. Uh -oh. Did you sell them for free? Hell no, it's Christmas. People pay a buttload for this crap. That's the spirit. <laughs> I know, right? How much do you think a metal sweet read would cost? Couple hundred dollars. Yeah. This lady's giving them away for free. Ugh. Remember that wreath Dad brought home that one year? You mean the one he stole from like a liquor store? Yeah, it was a bunch of empty beer cans. Round hard enough, I could probably find one just like it. Oh, he uh, wants to make memories of Sam. Dude, what's going on with you? What? I mean, since when have you been Crosby all of a sudden? Why do you want to do Christmas so bad? Why are you so against it? I mean, were your childhood memories that traumatic? No, that has nothing to do with it. Then what? I, I mean, I, I just... I don't get it. I, you haven't talked about Christmas in years. This is my last year. Yeah, I realize that at the end, that's what you should do. I'm trying to make some memories. That's why I can't. What do you mean? I mean, I can't just sit around drinking eggnog, pretending everything's okay. When I know next Christmas you'll be dead. I just can't. Mm. It's a tough situation. I realized at the end that's what he's trying to do. When well, he was so wanting Christmas, talking about Christmas, going down memory lane. Yeah, to get you dinner. Did you get your vegetables? Not the, um, fun... Funyuns? You know why you keep a gun under your pillow? Stay out of my stuff. And I know why we lay salt on everywhere we go. No, you don't. Where'd you get that? That's Dad's. He's gonna kick your ass for reading that. The monster's real. What? You're crazy. Tell me. I swear, if you ever tell Dad I told you any of this, I will end you. First thing you have to know is we have the coolest dad in the world. <laughs> He's a superhero. He is? But dad said the monsters under my bed weren't real. It's because he'd already checked under there. <laughs> under, right? Yeah, they're real. Almost everything's real. Is Santa real? No. Monsters are real. And they could get us. They could get me. Dad's not gonna let him get you. But what if they get him? If they got mom, they can get dad. And if they get dad, they can get us. No, it's, it's not like that. I think dad's gonna be here for Christmas. Just like he always is. I just wanna go to sleep, okay? Mm. It'll be better when you wake up. That gotta be... They lived a tough life. Yeah, I know how to get mad at them, and I just want to shake them, but they live a tough life. So it's understandable why they have such a toxic... No, I don't even want to use the word toxic. Sometimes it could be toxic, but... Why the relationship is the way it is, I just don't have my words today. Can't you just feel the evil pagan vibe? Oh, Lord. 
I, if she has a husband, I've seen part of this episode. Yeah, well, we were just admiring your wreaths and Mr. Siler's place the other day. You were? See, the problem is, is that all your wreaths had sold out before we got the chance to buy one. Oh, fudge! You wouldn't happen to have another one that we could buy from you, would you? Oh, no, I'm afraid those were the only ones I had. Tell me something, why did you decide to make them out of meadow sweet? Why, the smell, of course. I've seen part of this episode. My mom made me shut this episode off. What's going on, honey? Well, you're just some nice boys asking about my wreaths. I was really young. Fine wreaths. Oh, care for some peanut brittle? The 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 try to kill them in the kitchen if it's that one that I'm thinking. I knew it. Something was way off with those two. What'd you find? Kerrigan's lived in Seattle last year, where two abductions took place right around Christmas. They moved here in January. All that Christmas crap in their house, there wasn't boughs of holly, was vervain and mint. Pagan stuff. Serious pagan stuff. It's always the basement. Look here. Lord, he was nine on them bones. Is that human flesh? As a sack? Oh, no, the sack's just bloody. Okay. Don't gasp. Oh, she's strong. Damn. Gosh, I wish you boys hadn't come down here. Oh, they're the, the gods. Damn. With yep, yep, I've seen this episode. I was really young. Okay. My mom made me shut it off okay. just because it was like dark. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Not that way, nice really to know. I thought you two lazy bones were gonna sleep straight through all the fun stuff. <laughs> Miss all this? No, we're partiers. Isn't he a kick in the pants, honey? You're hunters, is what you are. Yeah, and you're begging gods. So why don't we just call it even and. Go our separate ways. Nope. What, so you can bring back more hunters and kill us? <laughs> I don't think so. Should have thought about that before you went snacking on humans then. Oh, huh? now, don't get all wet. Oh, why, we used to take over a hundred tributes a year, and that's a fact. Now, what do we take? What? Two? Three? Hardy boys here make five. Now, that's not so bad, is it? <laughs> well, you say, <laughs> to be fair. I guess you guys are the Cunninghams. You, mister, better show us a little respect. Or what? Not so fast. We're just sticklers for ritual. And you know what kicks off the whole shebang? Let me guess. Meadow sweet. Oh, shucks. Oh, You're all out of reeds. I guess we'll just have to cancel the, the sacrifice, huh? Oh, don't be then such never a old. Gus. Don't be just look darling. Good enough to eat. <laughs> all righty, Rue. Step number two. Sammy? Sammy? No! No! Leave him alone, son of a bitch! You hear how they talk to us? Back in the day, we were worshipped by millions. Times have changed. <laughs> Tell me about it. All of a sudden, this Jesus character is the hot new thing in town. <laughs> Not All the hot sudden, new thing in town! Our being burned down, and we're being hunted down like common monsters. Not. Not them <laughs> garnishing the, the, the blood. We kept a low profile. We got jobs. A, a mortgage. We, what was that word, dear? We assimilated. Yeah, we assimilated. Just might pinch a bit, dear. Oh, bitch! Oh, my goodness me. Somebody owes a nickel to the swear jar. Oh, you know what I say when I feel like swearing? Fudge. I can remember that. <laughs> you boys have no idea how lucky you are. There was a time when kids came from miles around just to be sitting where you are. What is that? Oh, you fudge and touch me again, I'll fudge and kill you. Now he uses the word fudge. Again, lady? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, no, I can't see that. Oh, oh we got a winner. Oh. Oh. See, uh, 
Fingernail, blood. <laughs> Sweet Peter on a popsicle stick. <laughs> I forgot the tooth. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, hell no. Nah. Open wide. Mm -mm. And say ah. Uh. Can I get that? <laughs> you should get that. Merry Christmas. I told you I smelled fruitcake. Say, Neil and I are going caroling. You care to join? You know we would. I mean, it's my back. Darn thing's giving me fits. Oh. Hey, are we still on for a bridge tomorrow? With bells on. Yes. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Another walk on it. But people, do people eat fruitcake? God, they, they should have been a little stronger to knock that door down immediately, but okay. Ah! Oh shit. Was here. Look what he brought. Dad was here? Yeah. Look at this. We made a killing. Why did he try to wake me up? Dean did all that. He tried to like a thousand times. He did? Yeah. What is it? Sapphire Barbie. <laughs> Dad probably thinks you're a girl. Shut up. <laughs> Open that one. Dad never showed, did he? Yeah, he did, I swear. Where'd you get all this stuff? I stole. In this house with the block. I didn't know there were chick presents. Look, I'm sure Dad would have been here if he could. He's alive. Don't say that. Here. Take this. That's for dad. Dad lied to me. I want you dead. You sure? I'm sure. Oh, it's a necklace he wears. Thank you, Sam. I, I love it. Codependent. That was the word I'm looking for. You could see why they're codependent, though. Made you change your mind. Here, um, try the eggnog. I'm still upset. Your figure they got pulled. <laughs> now we're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, let's do hey, that gonna be strong as hell. All right, first things first. Merry Christmas, eh? Lord, I can yeah. imagine these gifts. Mm hmm. Gas mark down the street. <laughs> Open them up. Great minds think alike, Gene. Really? There you go. Come on. You gotta be fooled, really. I knew. <laughs> Skin mask. And. Shaving cream. You like? Yeah. <laughs> and I had to do that to be candy. Look at this. Fuel for me and fuel for my baby. Merry Christmas, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Mm. Feel like watching the game? Absolutely. 
They're so codependent, but they can't talk to each other at the same time. It's, it's hilarious. Okay. That was that was actually a fun episode. Like, I knew it was a pain god. Okay, because I was like, I don't know no Antichrist law at all. Like, it, it never came up. So, pain god, winter solace. As they said, they had, they used to get, what, hundreds of sacrifices. Hey, they cut down to two or three every Christmas. Like, you could have let them have that. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But it's how they said a new hot thing with Jesus. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. This, I've seen this part of this episode. And this was, because I always knew it was supernatural, but never watched it. And this came on. I don't even know if it was a it came on Christmas. I think it was like you know when it used to reruns. I think it was a rerun. It was at night. And my mom told me to shut it out because he kept saying bitch. And she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. It doesn't if you're in a black household. You know, cussing in a lot at a certain age. So I had to turn it out. But I was like, what kind of craziness for a Christmas episode this was? I think that's why it stuck to me. And that's why I always knew about Supernatural. This was the episode that made me know the TV show Supernatural. That's funny as hell, though, that, that this popped up. I swear to God. But, yeah, this was just a... Uh, I'll just call it a ha-ha moment. You can tell they just made it because they needed a Christmas episode. But it was still cool. Still cool to get a law on a Christmas. Uh, we see... We got a little flashback again of Sam and Dean when they were young. Um, and in actuality, you can see it was Dean that raised Sam. And you can see why he does the things he does for Sam. Because he started from very young. And he just can't keep the habit. And, but it was nice in the end for Sam to just relinquish and give Dean this moment of, let's have a Christmas. And it's so funny to me, they're brothers, but yet they cannot talk to each other. Ugh, oh, boys. Boys. Talk it out, but no... Then we just look at each other, shy, look away. That's so, it's so cute though, but I'm I'm hoping well I know this is not gonna be that last Christmas. That's that's the only sad part about coming into a TV show that's already done and you know you have so many seasons. So you know something happens, but it's gonna be interesting to see. But again, I I didn't, I didn't care. Not I didn't care. This was an enjoyable episode for what it was. Nothing major happened, nothing concerning happened, but it was cool to see. So, that being said, if you enjoy my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, a sub, a like, a comment, a share of this video goes a long way to expand this channel, and I thank you guys so much for your support. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!